Hey guys, welcome to Mac Gaming Central. Today we'll be going over how to install third-party mods on X-Plane 12 for Mac OS. Uh, so we will be doing this through xplane.org. This is where you can get a bunch of verified uh, third-party mods for the game. Uh, once you've created an account and purchased what you needed, uh, you can head over to my account. This is where all your purchases will go. And you'll see that we have a download item. So we'll be doing the Q400. Um, we can just click on that. There'll be two versions in this case for myself. Uh, we are running X-Plane 12. So in this case, you will want to download this file. And now that's started downloading, you can see here, we'll head over to Steam and go right click on X-Plane 12 and we'll go to manage and browse local files. So this will bring up all the files for the game. We'll head over to aircraft and then laminar research. And once the mod is in downloaded, we will just click and drag it into that file. Okay, now that the file has downloaded, we can just click and drag it into our aircraft folder. And then we can go ahead and launch the game. All right, so now that our game has booted, we can just head over to New Flight. You'll see that the aircraft that we have downloaded is just right here. We'll select an airport and press Start Flight. There will be a few pop-up windows that will come up, giving us warnings that the developer cannot be verified. In this case, we'll just head over to our system settings and go down to privacy and security. Scroll all the way down and you'll see there's a security tab. So once we press cancel, you'll see that we have a pop-up saying that we can allow anyways. So we will do that. You'll just need to enter your password. and press modify settings. We'll do the same thing over and over again until the warning windows are not present anymore. We'll head back into the game and wait for it to finish loading. Now that the plane has finished loading, uh, you'll see that we'll need to enter a serial number for the plane we've purchased so we can just head back to Safari where we have our serial number from the aircraft. We'll just copy that and paste it into this window and press activate. It'll take a few seconds and the plane has now activated so we can just quit the game and relaunch it one more time. Okay, we'll try this one more time and make sure everything's working correctly. Just one more pop-up, we'll click open. Okay, now everything seems to be working just fine. We'll just verify a few things. When you do install a new plane on X-Plane, sometimes some of the controls don't work, so we'll just verify that. Okay, flaps going down. We can take off our parking brake, just make sure everything's working perfectly. It seems that all controls work so guys that's pretty much it let me know if you have any other questions in the comment uh, if this was helpful for you please leave a like and let me know if there's any other content you guys would like to see this is a new youtube channel so just looking for some input if you guys have any other than that thanks for watching and we'll see you next time